Hey guys, what's up? It's Tryptophan, and in this video, I have a replay from the Chinese server that I got from Zader. Apparently, they play Warfield very differently there, and that Warfield is the best class there. Um, I don't know. I guess Lottery is the Warfield player. Uh, let's see his playstyle. Okay, yeah, he's also number six on the leaderboard, so it's probably this rough field that I was linked to. So, um, for those who have not played on the Korean or Chinese servers, the Koreans are known for being, like, very offensive. Like, they'll be on creep at, like, the eight-minute mark. Everyone, like, even the noobs, like, they don't even know what eco is. They're attacking. China is the exact opposite. From what I know, they early base every game, like... Or that's at least how it used to be when they were starting out. Um, so like obviously in Korea they would always go to Hakka. And I guess on this one they would want to go Glevic versus early bases. I don't think you'd want Hakka. But I mean the meta could have changed in like the past year. I just know it's well known for basing. Okay, so I mean like the Hellion start, that's very common, everyone does that. Farming your mid, very important, like if you can get away with it because it's more gas. Rig startup complete. I am following him, right? Okay, and uh, with that kind of said, I'm going to assume those are English letters. Looks like the word... Oh, I don't know what old is. That's a... Yeah, it doesn't look anything like that. Alright. So he's just farming in mid. I mean, he's also first to the Haka. If you guys have ever played Warfield, you know the Haka just tunnels you all day. It's really annoying. And this guy doesn't have like any... What? Oh, <laughs> that was not what I was expecting. I mean, I know about the f and the f <laughs> Okay, okay, this is interesting. I'm already loving this replay. Okay, I was not expecting four hercs instantly. I know about the four hercs shot because this didn't last for five seconds on a 20 second cooldown. So it's basically permanent and you have all these recalls. So Sky is playing like obviously like super safe. So um like he's just not going for eco. Like he's just fine with the current eco he has. Dude, okay, this is Hmm. I actually tried to do something like this, like on my like tenth warfield game and I could make it work. So I kinda of scrapped the idea. Cause I heard about the four Herx thing. Then this guy. Okay. This is, uh. And he can just recall whenever he wants. Like, he has five recalls here. And, like, they're all. It's on three minute. Or a five minute cooldown. Yeah, for all of them. So he can basically recall every one minute. It doesn't even matter. And like, you know where the eco is? That hero right there, that's his eco. This is... And like, he just has so much map control with his four hercs and all the teleport and everything. He just is like, I want to go over here. And like, if he loses those hercs at this point, like he can just remake them, but... Or he can just teleport them with him, do another teleport. Dude, that's his. This is crazy. And he has all this extra gas, so he's ecoing with the uh, Sentry Bot and with Output Houses. I really want to see if someone has his stats page open so we can see like how he's doing on eco. Nope. Okay. Let's go back to the replay. Okay. So this guy is just using Warfield as eco. 
Because he's at 29 supply. Like what most people in NA do is like they just use Hellions to heal up to, or to eat up to 150 supply. Then they use planetaries to increase it. And like that's also when they start basing because they have planetaries. But this guy is just going pure Herc. This guy doesn't know what Hellions are more like than are. Oh, I would just say he doesn't know what Hellions are and he instantly makes them. This is a really good comp. Like, he has a ton of stims. The Hellions are good. Like, and whenever he's in trouble, he can just teleport to wherever he wants. That's like 10 teleports right there. So instead of like going to 150 supply in eco, he uses sentry bots, which are super supply efficient. And then just attacks. Because this is a 13 minute attack, you have to remember that. What is his upgrade? 2 2. I feel like I've definitely done attacks at this time. I usually have like 3 3, but I have less levels on my hero with my shot. And I have less gas. So like, I think this guy. Like, this shot just might be onto something. He's just, he can just go straight to mid, and then he's got 20 teleports there. And, it, like, it's a Glevig, so, like... Oh my god. Is he still 2-2? Two -two? Yeah. Let's look at the hero. And he's just sniping all their shit. He has Xanthos at 14 minutes. Like, it's not like they spam lanes on him or anything, but like, what do you do to defend it? And the extra movement speed can help him stay alive. I bet you this would be harder for like Sakaar or Neandra. And like, it's not like they're gonna kill him with Hydras, he just killed Hydrogen. Uh, I mean, I don't think that would have helped. Like, he has Xanthos. He should... I don't understand why he's not using Xanthos right now. But, like... I mean, no one plays Warfield perfectly, because if they did, they'd have a 100% win rate. And, um... Yeah. Like, like it's just too high APM. Like, no one can do it. Like, you would need, like, a StarCraft 2 Pro, like, Marine King Prime on him or something. Yeah, okay, so... He just gets to level seven. He can. He got his spells. Uh, he uses. Oh, that wasn't a stem. I don't know. I'm confused. The hero is a Zico. That's all he needs. And like he did some serious work in mid. Cleared out a lot of their stuff. Oh, yeah, he is focusing way too much on that sentry bot. He could have like made a lot more outhouses for his um, barracks boards and everything to make more eco. And that would have been better. But this is actually like, so different than how Lover Fields play. I'm loving this replay. I really hope I'm recording. Yeah, cool. I always have a fear that I'm not recording. I mean, he just has so much gas. Oh my god. This is also, wait, I want to stop here. This is also pretty cool. Where he has, um, like normally people will wall with this, but when this gets found, it's kind of annoying when you're just showing the minimap. So just having two barracks out in front means if one gets found, he just lifts both up, puts them down, less chance of, uh, like the outhouse getting found and just being on the minimap. So definitely good. And like, he's just level seven. Like if, once you hit level six as Warfield, you're golden. Because Xanthos is just so strong. Rig startup complete. And he's just... Are you going with Herx? What are the supply of Herx again? 
was seen as Hellions. So it's way more supply efficient than Hellions. Tesla would gas, but he doesn't care. A little bit more. It sounds mineral efficient, but. It also provides its own visions. Like, as you saw there, like. He just puts the four hooks there. And, like, he could, like, directly TP some of this stuff out. So interesting. This is so different than how we play on the other servers. Rig startup complete. Man, I want to like. What is this guy doing? Okay, like it's an Aries. Like the other three units, not that much place out there. Okay, so we got the uh, uh, house upgrade. Is so he just put in? Yeah, he's just putting sentry bots and everything. Yeah, really. I mean, like I don't know, eleven range. That's so cool. If he was in here, he would have thirteen range. He's affected by both outhouses. Someone else doing a cool strat? Nah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's how I feel. Man, like any players love their orbitals, this guy doesn't. I wonder how many times he's ecoed here, where he knows like this outhouse fits here. And like you can have all these perfect outhouses. Like, this seems to be the warfield place where everyone every warfield goes. You could probably just assume they go here. And it's so good for warfield too. Oh my god. So he's getting 3 3 here. And, um, yeah, 3 3 here. Orbitals, 3 to supply. He's very supply efficient with all this stuff. This, these sentry bots kind of suck in a fight, but they're not the worst. They, they, they're actually, yeah, the worst. If they're cost, you'd hope they would do more. I'm curious how their AOE works, actually. Yep, so he's doing the Herkelians. Like, that's his go-to army comp. And the way he's played this game, he is super supply efficient with his eco. And his, like, eco's very good. I don't know where he gets all his vi Oh, he has eight healings in here for vision. Oh my god. I love this replay. Uh, you can lift up the barracks. Not that it matters. Like, oh my. Just the way you can fit these outhouses perfectly like this. With one in here. So, so cool. I really love this play style. The only thing I would do differently is I would put two bad creatures in there. Because um, that would be like 60% increased life for everyone attacking in the circle. Which is pretty huge. Way better than like 4-4 or something like that, yeah. And I'd probably be eco with one of the planetaries. Okay. So like, this is way different than the, what I saw from early China days, where they would they would just base like the eight minute mark or something, like all of them in a pub. If we had trouble doing that in pre-mades, and uh, just man, it's so perfect. Like the way he has like eight hellions in there, give him vision for like all those planetaries. That army comp. Why does he have Xanthos though? Xanthos is like the reason we play Warfield. That's that's a, the second thing I would do differently. Like Xanthos is maybe the most OP hero. Like Warfield, Xanthos, and Sun are my favorite heroes. And Nomad too. 
and after that, like, seem to have been doing pretty good. Like, in terms of levels, as in, like, leveling up a hero, they're fun. Um, I might be forgetting someone now. I'm just curious what... Okay. Okay, here's this late game call. Battlecruisers are sentry bot. Interesting. I don't personally like sentry bots for fights, but All right, let's get he can do whatever he wants. You need a few hooks there. Ooh. Oh yeah, you can just teleport. Where's the Xanthos? That is so interesting. Like every time I hit level 6 on Wolf Kill, it's Xanthos time, I've won the game. It's got that fairy sunbeam, super OP. Um, He loves this teleport. Like, I mean, I'm, he wouldn't, right? Is he... What did he put in here? He put sentry bots in there. I mean, okay, also... How much... What is it again? Yeah, so that would be 60% life, but maybe he values range more than 60% life because like range can actually be like super stupid strong Get something with like 16 range on it like Look, look at these battle cruisers. They have um 1800 life already. Maybe he's just like They're already invincible. There's no point. So like if he has 10 range on it right now and he can make it like 14? Maybe he's like, that's better. I don't know. Who called in the fleet? And they also have like 23 armor. That's ridiculous. These limbs are doing no damage to them. Oh, he TPs on top to Glevic for extra damage. Recently smart. Ooh. I feel this guy did get a plant here you go. Okay. But the Xanthos is what he's missing. <laughs> this is just so strong. He's just like, here you go, Aries. Here's some. Okay, so at this point. Hey, let me just highlight this really quickly. Look at his outhouse eco. He probably doesn't need his reactor. Saying, actually, they probably help Warfield get eco faster. And Warfield is doing a lot of eco. Like, he's 100. Plus 100, that's a lot. Um, he only has this outhouse, this outhouse, and this outhouse, which is mostly for buffs, I guess. And this one. Like, only this one. You know, like, only five outhouses. That way he can have like 300 supply worth of stuff. And he's using this as um, like his center planetary is his eco. Just very good play. So he's 300 supply of army pretty much. Or maybe like 270. And um, lots of planetaries doing damage. And the 30 supply that is an eco, like it's supplying buffs for his army. So it's not like waste or anything. Interesting. So his like late late game army is just pure battle cruiser. And like you might think like oh just counter flames, but like they have twenty eight armor, and just do one damage to it, and two k life. F five five. Who called in Where is the Santos? Who called in the fleet? Santos are like. I think 
the strongest level 21 hero is Xanthos. Like, it just has, like, the AoE auto attack, tons of range, the laser sunbeam, the shield. Who called in the fleet? Very good play. Like, Who called in the fleet? Well, don't need rocks when you have twenty back users. That was a good try from Dahaka. Try and get that pull in. Make him go faster. I've been on times two for a while. I think he's regretting not having space there. The field skill is so good at the bubbles, just like Xanthus. Hint, hint. If you're free or field, you have to get Xanthus. I mean, maybe it's like an emergency escape for him now, like he'll just get it. Like 9.5 range, super high DPS, lots of life. Dude, well, wait. When there's no pains, I'll show it. Who called in the fleet? Okay. If you look at his base on the minimap, it looks like a Chinese character. Alright, we'll go back it's to your guy. Who called in the fleet? That's the key to his success though. It's a Chinese character. Fleet? Maybe since you bots have a lot of range on the fleet. They're pretty strong in that regard. Who called in the fleet? I don't think he cares anymore. They, they have such a hard time getting to this. Honestly, it's attacking that rock might be better. Who called in the fleet? Ooh, I don't know what I would do versus. I'd probably just try and attack these planters as fast as possible. Get them down. So like I would work on this rock. Then work on this and then like just keep doing that over and over i think that's the way to beat it but like i'm honestly surprised they've lasted for so many bad cruiser sentry ball pushes and he can reinforce it with like this is like cancer oh god But like this strat, what he's doing right now, if you have a versus a Haka, I'd highly recommend this strategy. You have five teleports between Morfield and all the Hercs. Like, as long as you have an outhouse somewhere on the map, you're living. And I know a lot of Warfields right now have a ton of trouble with the Hakas. Like I get so many videos that are like, check out, please do a video of the hawk of Ward or Warfield versus the Haka. And I'm like, I don't know how to do with that. But this is my, this might be like my go-to chat now. I'll definitely do some minor differences, minor tweaks, but like. Oh my god. Where's that one hit? There we go. I think he could have TP'd out whenever he wanted to. Yep. Or Xanthos. Hint, hint. Like, is he like. Did they just ban Xanthos? I don't know what happened. Look at that. 4.7k gas, 68k damage. 
Look at that feed, more than everyone else combined. This guy's great. Actually, not more than everyone else combined. Almost, though. Such a good replay. And, like, you can't say, like, oh, it was his teammates. Like, that's pretty much just pure him. And, like, Zergus did a good job defending. Okay, well, I, that's a great video. All right, I'm, thank you, Zader, for showing it to me. All right, GG, guys. See you next video.